Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. Let's move on now to what we came here to do to talk to you about, and that is real estate. we got some great real estate information today. We've got a different opinion other than Dave's coming to you today. Shabon will be able to drink number two, by the way. Going on, she's got to get her, you know, that tongue wet, ready to go with it right here. Ready so to talk. So drink number two just happened here on the show, and I'm not going to tell you how many Dave had on his first one. So we're going to see if you out drink him or you under drink him. I remember it was, it was a lot. lot, but I'm self conscious about it, so I don't think I'll out drink. I got you. So we'll see about that. So here's what we're going to talk about. Good time of the year right now. A lot of people don't think this, but it really is a good time of the year to be purchasing homes right mm-hmm. now. Okay, it's a good time of the year to do that. We're going to talk to you today about three things that buyers are looking for in their new home. So if you're out there, you know somebody out there that has a home that they're wanting to sell, maybe they have it on the market right now to sell, we're going to tell you some things that buyers are looking for when they go into these houses, when they pull up to it, when they see it online. We're going to talk to you about what that looks like what they're looking for okay again these are things we just see things people tell us things in our everyday walk in the real estate arena that we see and do these things this is not legal or financial advice me and shabon are just simply sitting here going to give you our opinions so let's get going you ready for this here's the fun part here we go here is one of the biggest things that people look for in a home that they purchase all right number one is curb appeal outside the exterior of the home. Now, I got a lot to say about this, okay. just for a few minutes. When you look at the time of year that we're in right now, trees all dying, leaves everywhere, mm-hmm. the shrubbery, the flower beds, all that stuff probably don't look too hot right now. Mm-hmm. This is where you need to go down to Lowe's and get you a bunch of artificial stuff and put out no. there. I just had to say that because I had curb appeal. That's a joke, right? That's a joke. That's a running joke okay. with you. You know, yeah. I had to put that out there. I'm just kidding there. I'm just kidding there. But no, a lot of times this year, especially on at this time of year, the marketing of the outside of the house, it's kind of hard what I'm going to say to get that good, mm-hmm. fluffy, colorful picture just because of the time of the year. So there's some things that you can do to help that. Again, I got a lot of leaves in my yard. Mm-hmm. My flower bed is attractant to leaves mm-hmm. right now. So I've got this big stack up and it just would look really bad if I were going to put my home on the market and I had to be taking the pictures of the exterior right now. You might want to get you a leaf blower. Mm-hmm. Blow all of that off so at least they can see your dead trees yes. and not all the leaves and all that stuff that is currently in there now. But you have to remember in our MLS, you just came from an MLS meeting so let's make sure I'm saying this right. You keep me straight here. Okay. But I think in our MLS, doesn't the first picture have to be an exterior picture of the house? Well, it tell me more. used to, but you can use whatever picture brings the best light to the house, and you would want to do that anyway. Right. Um, but, but I will say 99%. The exterior has to be in the photo, so you can't just exclude it. Right. It has to be somewhere in the photo. But when you look at houses, 99% of them, that lead photo is the exterior Absolutely. of the house. So mm-hmm. you got to keep that in mind. Why... Are we saying this is important? This is something that buyers are looking for? Because literally, that's the first thing, whether it's online, Mm -hmm. them pulling up to the house, that's the first thing they see. Mm -hmm. So they pull up, and again, it looks like a bomb blowed up. It's bad. On the outside, it's bad on the inside, too. That's the first thing they're going to think. But that's what they're going to see as Mm -hmm. far as they're making their assumption. Do we find out more about this house? Do we drive by this house from normally... The picture that they're seeing online. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? That's where a lot of people start. Everybody's going online starting. We know that. Mm -hmm. So if the exterior of your home is that first picture, there are some websites that are out there that they only show that first picture Mm -hmm. and they they exclude the other ones until you would start digging for them. But that's like the main photo of the house. Mm -hmm. So again, that is going to be a very important thing is the curb appeal of your house. Now again, it's hard right now to have Roses blooming because it just doesn't happen right now. So you gotta you gotta make sure just cleanliness, all of that on the exterior of the house is a big thing right now. Yeah, I've had I've had clients that won't even want to see the inside of a property because the outside either has junk, it's um, the paint's peeling because most of the time 
the outside of the house reflects the inside of the house. So they're automatically assuming that the inside is a hot mess. Absolutely. So They say, hey, if they'll let us see this, mm -hmm. wonder what the inside looks like. And a lot of times your house will get disqualified. And the other thing I want to say about that, it goes with curb appeal, but it goes, it goes a little further past that, is just the, that picture needs to be a good, even like right now this time of year, I understand the colors and stuff, that's hard to do. Now, you can go Photoshop and all, but we can't do that. Right. That's not allowed on our end, our ethics, we can't do those kind of things. We can't make it look like something mm -hmm. that it's not. But it's hard to get that good picture. But make sure they can see whatever your picture is. If it's a right. picture of the exterior of your house, don't take a picture of just your porch. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of your house. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Let that whole thing be in there so that they can see that. Remember, This is what we got to remember. For some strange reason, you put this crazy picture on there. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, I got to go look at this. They're going to see the whole house anyway. They are. So go ahead and show it to them, right? Let them see on that marketing picture. That will, again, get the attention, get that curb appeal trying to work to hopefully try to get somebody to purchase your house. And that's their first impression. Look. So you always want to make a good first impression. 100%. You want to make sure that there's no, um, remove anything unless it has a purpose. Right. Uh, kids' toys always make sure that they're kind of put in a designated area and it's organized. This is a big thing. Around your door and your porch rails. If there's flaking paint or faded, you need to paint that. Big time. Paint your door. That that's an easy, cheap way to mm -hmm. add um, curb appeal. Um, you can add some, um, which in the winter time it's probably not going to be good. But ferns, plants. Um, but you just want to make sure you make that good first impression because if they start out bad, then whenever um, they get in the inside. They're going to be looking for stuff. 100%. You want to make sure it's maintained good on the outside, too, because if they see that it's not maintained, then mm. they're automatically thinking, this person doesn't maintain their home. Right. So, and it's all formulated from that one picture. Now, yep. you might be able to help me on this. Dave couldn't if he was sitting there. But we've got, at church, mm -hmm. we've got these pretty fern, is what I'm mm -hmm. going to call them, because I don't know what else to call it. It's some kind of, it stays green. It's evergreen. <laughs> okay, there you go. It's an evergreen. Maybe that's why it's green. But it's green all the time. Right. You could even get some things like that mm -hmm. to set around in pots or whatever on the exterior of your house, porch, whatever, to put a little bit of greenery, a, a little bit of door. color, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. we, can, we got one on our door. Deco changes out every season. Mm -hmm. we got a Christmas one now. we got fall, all that stuff. But again, that adds some pop. That adds yeah. some color to it. That again, other than this time of year, there isn't a whole lot you can do. You're a hundred percent right on that. Even adding a little bit of mulch, um, trimming some trees, but inexpensive things to where you know you just want to set a good impression, whether it be in picture or in person as they're approaching the house. They want to enjoy what they see and not be picking it apart. Because if they start picking it apart on the outside, they're going to continue picking it apart on the inside. Absolutely. So one thing again. Now, why are we telling you this? Because think about it just for a minute. There's roughly 2,000 some odd properties for sale on our MLS right now. So is everybody that's listing house right now going around buying evergreens, putting a nice wreath on the door, all that? Probably not. Mm -hmm. However, if you could do something, new mulch, good idea. If you could do something like that, even though we're in the winter time, mm -hmm. The picture of your home compared to those other homes, it's going to stand out yeah. and make it look a whole lot better. So that's why what the buyer's looking for, we know they're looking at that picture, mm -hmm. make that picture look as good as it could be. Spend a little bit and you could really get a good return on your investment because it's going to draw people mm -hmm. and attention. Spider webs, cobwebs, paint, those are probably my biggest, you know, pressure washing your house. That is a big two. Whenever Absolutely. you walk up, if it's all dusty and yucky, then just wait till a warm day yeah especially right now or pay someone to do it yeah absolutely 100 percent. so that's number one we're talking about today our real estate information three things buyers are looking for again when they're purchasing a home the first one was curb appeal also if you've just joined us as i see a few people have dave by the way said that he agrees with me on the artificial flowers susie said don't plug everything into one outlet Dave and she was laughing so that must be an inside joke but we want to hear from you artificial or real Christmas tree that is our poll question today we've had a little bit of both we've had real and artificial Shabon and I both have artificial trees because we're cheap 
as you said. I'm cheap. So I'm just going along with that. <laughs> he likes the family time. But we want to hear it. from you. We want to hear from you. What is your tree? Real tree or artificial tree? We're getting in the Christmas spirit, kicking this season off. So we're going to start talking about that instead of food. But I'm sure food's coming. Something else to question. add to your poll question is, if you want to, do you do more than huh? one tree? More than one tree. Yeah. Some people put a tree in every room of their house. I got you. Not me. I've got them in every um, room. Well, I don't. I got so, yeah, them. add that to your um, poll question. I don't have them in there. My kids yeah. have them in there. I'm yeah. changing your poll question. But add that if you have so more could, than one. Yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah. A lot of people Most have people. multiple trees. So, we want to hear from you, real or artificial. Do you have more than one? So, we've let you in on number one. Three things buyers are looking for. You got number two. Number two is space. Space. Um. Most of the time when somebody's purchasing a home, they're doing it because they need more room. Absolutely. And even though you may not have a large house, um, you need to make the rooms appear as though you do. So that can do with the positioning of your furniture. That can do with your clutter. Right. <laughs> we all 100%. have a house is lived in. Yes. Um, so um, if you have extra pieces of furniture that's just making your room look overcrowded, then move it to another room, put it in storage, mm -hmm. Put it in your mother-in-law's basement. Right. Um, put but, it somewhere, right? Yeah. Um, because that, whenever they walk in a room, if it feels small, they're not going to take in, a lot of people cannot visualize. They can't take into account, well, if, you know, this is oversized furniture and things like that. So just make sure that whatever you do, that you make the room have, or all rooms have as much space as possible. Your kitchen counters declutter those two Big time. because when I look at a kitchen yes. and a lot of my clients do they want to see how much counter space they have to cook on and if you've mm -hmm. got it uh, cluttered up with toaster ovens and coffee pots and utensil racks and well you know what we all put on our countertops right. but if you got your house on the market put that stuff underneath the cabinet and just dig it out whenever you need it you look at and you hit it right on the head when people are moving they're usually moving because they need more space mm -hmm. There are very minor things that you can do. Now, again, it, my house is the same as what you said. I mean, I live there, and I got everything that I own and your there. your closets are crammed That's forward. where I was going for. Yeah. Your closets are one of the biggest places um, that you can really show and help with showing mm -hmm. room. If they open your closet and they're going to, they're going they to open will. the closet. If they don't, their agent will. Yeah. It, when they open that, though, if they see that it's crammed in their mind, my stuff won't fit. Mm -hmm. They might not have as much as me. If somebody's got as many shirts as I do, they got a lot of shirts. Mm -hmm. But if they open my closet right now, they would be like, there's no way my shirts will fit right. in this closet. So because mine seasonal don't. seasonal stuff out of there. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Do that. My Mine is not that way. Mm-hmm. My summer stuff is still there. Too. So if you could, though, go along with that and get that out of there, that would help show some space. The other thing is the, the kitchen is a big one. The bathroom, the laundry area mm -hmm. is another big area that you're going to want to try to help yourself. Now, again, you've got the space you have. Mm -hmm. We're not saying go build a new laundry room. But with the space that you currently have, especially trying to get this home sold, do what you got to do to make it seem that it appears it is as big as it right. can be. Because most of the time, my closet, I'm going to go back to my closet, it will hold my clothes. Mm -hmm. If I would just take out the clothes that I don't wear, never wear, my closet would be plenty big enough. Mine too. But I don't do that. Same thing with like your laundry room, your mm -hmm. kitchen countertops. Mm -hmm. If we would put away the extra crock pot, it would make my kitchen countertops appear bigger that I use once a month. Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of things. You can help yourself by doing that. Again, getting that space, showing the space. Because, again, your house is what it is. So right. we can't make that any bigger. You can, but we're not telling you to do that. But with the space that you have, do everything you can do mm -hmm. to make that space appear bigger. They make space saver boxes you can put underneath the bed. Um, if you have big furniture... You should get a storage unit. They're, I mean, they are, they do cost you some money. Sure. But it's gonna not gonna cost you a buyer. 
Right. So you stand a better chance of selling that property if the people can go in and visualize their stuff in there because they don't want to be they don't need to be looking at your stuff and if you've right. got a lot of it, um, chances are that's what they're going to be looking at. Is your so stuff. you want them to actually be able to see the house. So um, get your storage unit, get rid of your seasonal clothes, put them under the bed. Even if you have a spare room that you're not using, if you pack that stuff away and just stack it in there, that's going to be better than leaving it out 100 so if you're not using it and you're not going to be using it um regardless what it is pack it away store it away do what you got to do sabrina yeah. says she still has clothes in her closet from high school i do too i've got a few outfits from my thinner days I, i'm still have, hanging on to i have like a lot of football and basketball and baseball jerseys and stuff from uh -huh. high school i don't have like a shirt i don't think mm -hmm. um, i could have you've got a lot of that in your in mom's basement I got a whole seen lot of, yeah. so you can take it to your parents take it somewhere else <laughs> they said worst case scenario stuff it under the bed Get it out of there. Well, he, stuff so everybody's eventually. saying that's where your stuff's at right now. He no, I don't have anything the under there. But he I has been you. harping on me to get it out. Right. Because my closet is cream All right. So that's number two. You've just joined us. Make sure you get in on this poll question today. All right. We're going to two out of three. We got one more thing we're going to talk to you about as far as real estate goes. Three things home buyers are looking for in their new home. We've went through the first two: curb appeal and space. But also, we want to hear from you about your Christmas tree. Do you have an artificial? Or do you have a real Christmas tree? That is our poll question day. We both have artificial. I like real, but I'm cheap, as Siobhan has labeled me today. <laughs> labeled me right here. No, you like the show. family time. And don't forget to like, share, and invite. Absolutely. Get as many people on as possible. So here's the third thing that home buyers are looking for in a home that they're purchasing today. And I think you'll probably be able to speak a lot to this one. But if, if you do have that home that is in need of updates mm -hmm. and that could be across the board from your carpet to your sheetrock to paneling to fresh paint. fresh paint a lot of different things but if you can go ahead and get those updates done yourself mm -hmm. would you agree that you are really helping yourself out absolutely because when you have the home now i'm not saying it's a it's a must you can fix anything if your price is right. Mm -hmm. We've talked about that many times on the show. And I'm not saying even cut the bottom out. That's not what I'm saying. But it's got to be priced accordingly if it needs updates. But with you getting those updates done, especially if you're a handy person, you can do some things yourself. Mm -hmm. You can really help the, the value of your home. But you can also help the speed of getting the home under contract. Absolutely. If you go ahead and not necessarily do every update, do some of the updates. Now, here's why I say that. Because if you have that home that is out there and it doesn't have the updates, when people walk in and look at it, what's the first thing they say? They're subtracting dollars. Absolutely. Because they're thinking they're going to have to do this, 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 and this. And they're taking that off of the price that they're going to offer you immediately. And we see homes that are updated. They're now I'm not going to say totally updated. But homes that are updated versus homes that are not updated especially if not projected in the price, mm -hmm. the homes that are updated go a whole lot quicker than the homes Absolutely. that are not updated. Because they're more appealing to, they're less work. Um, most people want to go in and purchase a home that they're not going to have to do a lot of work to. But whenever they walk in and everything's dated, immediately they're seeing work. 100%. And if they, if they see the work, then they're seeing, as you alluded to, the dollar signs. Yep. So they're going to want to come in lower and their excuse is they're going to want to, well, I got to do this. Right. I got to do that. I got to paint. I got to put new floors in. That's just some things, again, you can look at. But we're just here today to tell you yeah. not to update your house. We're telling you what people are looking for. This is what they look at. This is concerns. This is things that they see. So again, that home be going on the market soon. You know somebody's got their home on the market. These are good tips that you mm -hmm. can pass along to them mm -hmm. to kind of help them. Whether that, again, that it's listed now, it will be listed, or it's just one of your friends that you know that need this kind of information. This is good stuff. This mm -hmm. is things that, again, can help you get that contract in 30 hours versus right. 30 days or three months or get you a 100% a of the asking price offer versus I've got to cut the bottom out of this right. to try to sell it. You want to make as much money on your house if you sell it as possible. Here's a few little tips and tricks that you can do 
to kind of help you be able to get that done. As far as the update, that doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong with your house because if your house needs updated, I'm sure that it still functions just fine and what you have is fine. It's just going to affect your bottom dollar. 100%. And the you know likelihood that someone's going to choose a house that's updated over yours. And there's several cheap weekend fixes, and I think you've discussed we it have, on a show yes. before, that you can do. Um, that Just those updates. And it's it going to bring you thousands of more dollars uh, in return. To be able to get that done. Yep. So... That is our real estate information for today. Hopefully that's been something that's been beneficial to you. Again, whether you have a home that's being sold right now, maybe you're looking to sell in the very near future. If you are, call us. We'll gladly come by and even help you do an assessment for mm -hmm. you. Don't get mad at us, right? Yeah, We're going to tell you the truth, though, because we want the same goal. Our goal is the same as yours. Get your house sold fast and for top dollar. Least amount of hassle as possible to you. We're going to come by and tell you that and give you that information. Or if you know anyone that's in the same predicament that we just went over, let us know. We'll go do the same thing for them. We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time. Have a great and blessed day.